Hi, I'm Jeff, and I'm the owner of Clean Ease Cleaning Products. And today I'm standing in this shower because I'm going to show you how to clean a natural stone shower. We clean natural stone with Stone Ease. Stone Ease is an alkaline cleaner, and it will not damage natural stone. That's what it's designed for. This is a great example because this is porcelain on the walls. Uh, a lot of people have porcelain or ceramic tiles on the wall and then stone on the floor, which is a beautiful combination. But we usually clean porcelain and ceramic with Grouties, which is an acid cleaner, but it's going to run down and hit the floor and we don't want to do that because we could damage this floor. Um, so I always suggest cleaning the whole thing with Stonies, which is an alkaline cleaner. It's not going to hurt it. This is tumbled marble on the floor. Also a uh, marble um, step right here and porcelain on the walls. This isn't very dirty, so I'm mixed Stonies eight to one with water and I put it in a spray bottle. You could either just keep it in this bottle and use the flip top, you can put it in a spray bottle, you can put it in a pump up sprayer, however you want to do it. Uh, I'm going to do it with a spray bottle. After I scrub it, I'm going to just rinse it with a mop because we don't have a handheld wand here for this shower. We just have like a, a rain shower head. Uh, so there's really no other way to rinse it except with a mop, maybe a, a spray bottle just filled with water. If you can take a pressure washer in through a window, this one doesn't even have a window, but if you have that opportunity, bring a pressure washer in and really hose it down well with the pressure washer. That's what I find is the best way to do it. In these stone showers, a lot of times, uh, where the water comes out, you will get calcium buildup. Okay, and a lot of people want to get rid of that calcium, and I can't blame you. If it's on ceramic or porcelain, easy to do because you can use Grouties, which is an acid based cleaner, and that will break the bond much easier. You put the Grouties on there, you scrub it, you rinse it off there, maybe with a pressure washer, and usually the calcium comes right off. When it comes to stone, we can't use acid, we have to use alkaline doesn't break the bond like an acid cleaner will. So what you have to do is, I always suggest using Stonies straight out of the bottle where it's as strong as possible, apply it on there, maybe put it on with a sponge, put it on a couple times to maybe soften that calcium if possible. Take a plastic scraper, a putty knife, you don't wanna use metal because you could scratch the stone and start scraping it off there to the best of your ability. Apply some more Stonies, let it sit, take the scrub brush, scrub the heck out of it, and then, if possible, a pressure washer. That's going to be your best chance of getting it off of there. If that doesn't work, call a professional. You probably have to have it ground down and get rid of that calcium that way. Calcium coming from hard water, all different types of water, all throughout the country, it's all different, is very difficult to get rid of. Um, that being said, I've mixed this eight to one. I'm gonna show you how I would clean this floor, and I'm gonna do just a little section of this wall, okay, because this is porcelain, but let's still clean a little section anyways. You ready, Ryan? Yep. Okay. I would start with the walls, I would start up high and then move low, but we're not having to clean it all, it's not all that dirty. So I would just spray this on my grout lines because my tiles are relatively clean. You can get them on there, it's not going to hurt anything. And then I would go in and I would spray my floor down. And I'm just going to do this small section, it's not dirty, but I'm just showing you this is a nice tumbled marble. And I would let it sit there. And I would let it sit for approximately five minutes. On the floor you have no problem. If you want to put a towel over the drain so it doesn't go down the drain right away, it just holds there with the towel, and then you can use that little bit to, to, to kind of mop up, I would do that. The wall is just running down the wall. Nothing else we could do. If, you need, if it's really dirty and you need to apply a little bit more, just apply a little bit more. As long as it's wet, it's working. Then I would, you ready, Ryan? I'm going to show you how to, I would scrub this. I'd go in and scrub with my stand-up brush. If I didn't have room, I would use my handheld brush. Get these corners. 
I would always scrub my tile because I, that's just the way I do it. And that's how I would clean those tiles, okay? When it comes to the floor, same type of thing. These are real small tiles. They look like they're maybe two inches wide. So I would just go straight across. If I had bigger tiles and I needed to get the grout lines and then the tile separately, I'd probably take my brush on its side and scrub them this way. I would scrub this whole top, this whole floor at one time myself. Maybe half, so I could do half and then get out and stand out there and do the other half. That's probably how I would do this one. Just go across these grout lines. Easy as that. Then I would take a mop. If I can have a pressure washer, if I had the handheld nozzle from the shower, I would do that. When you want to mop your walls down, same thing. You can take a, a, just a wet towel. I just have the mop here, just cleaning it off. And now I'm going to go across the floor and mop it. It's alkaline. It's not going to hurt anything. It won't etch it. It'll just clean it up beautifully. This wasn't dirty to begin with. Um, now it's a little bit darker because it's wet. Really is as easy as that. Let the rest, you know, if you have the handheld sprayer, let it go down the drain, let it dry out, come back and seal it. Uh, could take up to 24 hours to dry completely because you're going to soak it with water here. Make sure it's dry, seal it in a shower. I always recommend two coats of sealer. It's up to you, up to three if you want. Uh, you can even do one, but it's a very harsh environment uh, with all the lotions and the soaps and the hard water. Two coats is what's recommended. It's as easy as that. Thanks for watching.